Hey everyone, so I am back with a requested celebrity inspired makeup tutorial. This was requested by uh, one of my followers on Twitter and she sent me a picture of Demi Lovato and um, I didn't really know what it was on so I went to a Demi fan site and looked through all her um, TV appearances and finally found out that it was makeup that she wore for an, an appearance on Good Morning America. It's a really fun look, perfect for the evening time, perfect for a party so um, yeah, if you want to see how I did it then please keep watching. Okay, so I've already applied my foundation. I just used the Maybelline, let me get it for you. I can't remember. Superstay 24 hour. Nothing too fancy, I just used that and my concealer, which is the Benefit It Stick. Well, that's all I've done. I haven't sat underneath my eyes with, um, with a powder yet. I'll do that in a minute. Um, and I've also applied the Lime Crime Eyeshadow Helper. I'm going to take the Naked 2 palette. And I, first of all, I'm going to take the colour Tease, which is this kind of purpley browny colour, kind of a mink I guess you could call it, and I'm going to take a Sigma tapered blending brush, this is the E40, it's like this, I'm just going to take a little bit off that, and I'm going to pop that just in my crease. Now I'm going to take the colour Verve which is in this palette, and it's this beautiful, very very shimmery kind of, kind of silver, it's got more of a kind of taupey undertone to it. And this is where we're going to mix a couple of colours. So I'm going to take the Zoeva shader brush, it's just a flat brush, and I'm going to dip that into the Verve, which is one of my absolute favourite eyeshadows ever. And I'm just going to lightly, I don't want to use too much of this, just pack that on underneath the T's. This is a really simple look, so it doesn't really require too much blending or fussing. I'm just going to use Foxy, which is this matte kind of eggshell colour um, on this big brush. So I'm just going to pop that on while I'm here. Um, I don't think it was a shimmery highlight. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay Book of Shadows Volume 4 and I am going to take, I wish they did this in a smaller, in smaller packaging, it's kind of ridiculous, it's like a suitcase, right? And I'm going to take the colour Bust, which is this very beautiful kind of taupey purpley colour and I'm going to lay that on top of the Verve because the Verve by itself is very very pretty but it's a little bit too silver. So I'm going to take some bust on the same brush I used before and I'm just going to kind of pat that in the middle and kind of blend it over and that will kind of give the shade that I want because if you look at the pictures as I said it's not one shade well, it probably was one shade, but it's not kind of, it doesn't show up as one shade, it kind of shows up kind of multi-dimensional. So if you use different colours, you can get that. You don't have to go out and buy new eyeshadows. <laughs> but for the eyeliner, I'm just going to use um, Ermin Case 24 7 Glowing Pencil in Zero, just a black. Now, um, you could use a darker black if you want, but I'm just going to use this kind of sort of mid-tone black. I do have perversion as well, but I think that's a little bit too black for this look. Now, I was looking at her eyeliner in the picture, and she doesn't seem to have, she didn't have a wing at all, it just kind of stopped. I don't tend to do that, but in the, you know, essence of recreating the look, I'll just, I'll just do that. So it was pretty simple, it was just, she just kind of stopped really, or rather her makeup artist did. She didn't have much in the way of eyeshadow underneath her lower lash line, but I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of the bust colour, which was like the taupey shimmery colour. I'm not going to put too much of the silver because I think it might just be a bit, a bit too much. How many times do you say too much? Quite a lot now. And I'm just going to use that on a Zoeva smudger brush, a little smudger brush. Just a little bit, just at the outer portion. Just so those kind of rounds it off. She didn't seem to have too much eyeshadow under there, but I'm going to pop a little bit on. Just like so, just so it kind of defines those lower lashes. Then I am going to take a little pencil brush, once again from Zoeva, and I'm going to use the colour, let me see, I'm going to use Zephyr, I was going to use Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette, but Zephyr from the pictures looks a little bit more um, like the one she was wearing. It was a, like a white highlight rather than um, a kind of pinky one. So I'm going to use Zephyr, this colour here, as my inner corner highlight. Tap a bit of that on. It's definitely more white than it was pink. I'll just bring that down a little bit over. That's the eyeshadow done. Now for um, in the inner waterline. 
I'm just gonna use the Rimmel Coco Gel Scandalize pencil in uh, Nude, which is my favorite. Favorite pencil for in the waterline. Just makes you look so weak, as you can see. I'm gonna make sure I sit bigger. I'm using these lashes that I've used a couple of times before, and I believe they're by, who are they by? I do have the boxes. And I think these kind of glossy looks actually. Yeah, El Dorado handmade lashes that look like this. I think you can get them online. I think. There's the outer kind of corner lashes on. A lot easier to apply, and they look a little bit more natural. I mean, these are kind of like va va voom ones, but they do look a little bit more natural, especially when you look down. They don't look so. So I'm gonna pop some more mascara over the top of those just to seal them in. Okay, so I changed my mind. Um, the kind of outer corner ones were fine, but they just didn't look. They just weren't. I don't know. They just weren't voluminous enough. So I used the other half as well, and as you can see. So um, I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm also going to set my under eye concealer with the uh, BM Beauty finishing powder. It's just a little sample that came in the glossy box, which is really nice. Okay, so for the rest of the face, I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. It's my favourite, and she did have quite a lot of contouring on, so I'm going to go with that. This is our Sedona Lace 480 brush, I believe. Yes. So I've got my Z palette here with my blushes in. What am I going to use? I'm going to use this one, which I believe is called Something Sunset. It's by La Femme, I know that much. Let me see. It is called Golden Sunset, so I'm going to use that colour because it's really beautiful. And I'm going to use that on a Zoeva stippling brush. Because it's really, really bright, this, this blush is crazy bright. And they're so pigmented. For the highlight, I'm going to use Max Silver Dusk Iridescent Powder. Now it looks like this. It's kind of a pinky shade. And I'm going to use that on a petite stippling brush from Zoeva. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. <laughs> Isn't it? So pretty. And for the lips, she was wearing a very kind of sort of matte, more like a satin red lip, so I'm going to use Youngblood's lip pencil in Truly Red, just to outline. I'm going to use the Senna um, cream lipstick in Valentina, which looks like this, which is so pretty. I'll leave the picture demo that I used for reference down below and uh, all the products as well, so I hope you enjoyed that guys and I hope it was helpful. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.